I don't know if I've ranted about this before on YouTube or not, but I absolutely hate comparing programmer languages with benchmarks. Language benchmarks rarely ever actually test for anything useful when comparing one language against another. And this goes for any language. Even in the best case scenario, you're comparing two different compilers for the same language and the same input. That means you, you're just comparing how well the optimizing backends work for those compilers. Comparing different languages is not even in the same category. So when comparing languages, you're not just comparing the optimizing backend of the compiler, assuming it is even compiled, but completely different input. And most benchmarks rarely use the same semantically equivalent code to test against. The implementations vary wildly. And even in the case when the input is semantically equivalent and the compiler backends for each language use the same library, you know, for instance, LLVM, even then the semantics of each language may not allow for certain passes. LLVM is a good example, so it usually assumes C or C++ semantics. If your language does not adhere to C and C++ semantics, then some of the passes of LLVM cannot be used. And some compilers may have different default flags too, which makes dumb comparisons rarely equal, like e.g. native code versus portable microarchitectures. Now, clarifying the semantics equivalent aspect here, a printing pr uh, procedure is one thing in one language may be drastically different to another. Now, uh, or it could be runtime versus compile time information that's being used or none at all. Flushing after every call or not. Richer formatting or not, etc. Again, are, are you even comparing the same thing? There's also this idiomatic aspect, which I hate too. Like, idiomatic in one language is subjective and a personal construct and may produce very different results compared to the non-idiomatic code. These idiomatic styles might even produce slower code in general, and the test won't even show this. One of the most egregious websites for this is the, the programming-language-benchmarks.versel.app website. I recommend anybody who wants to compare any of these two languages of the same ilk, and then actually read the differences between the codes in those tests. Note how they're nothing alike most of the time, different limitations on logic. Again, the link's in the description below. I'd also like to note, I do personally try and make distinctions between the language, the compiler, the core library, and the ecosystem as much as I can. And I know most people do not, and just lump everything together as if it's like a single package. This is due to most languages usually only having like a single implementation. But if you come from a C or C++ background, background my, like myself, then you are or have been confronted with a selection of different tool chains from the start, be it MSVC, Clang, GCC, Intel, uh, TCC, HCC, Plan 9, etc. And you're usually forced to write or import your own core library too, because C's is awful. For a language like Lua though, um, there are different implementations, but they pretty much offer the same ecosystem but just different how they're run. Like, is it on a VM or is it jitted? And for many people, the choice of what to use is dictated by the use case. So to kind of summarize what I'm saying, metrology is hard. Um, you actually need to know what you're comparing against. If that thing is measurable, is it quant quantitatively or qualitatively in the first place? Th that the things you're comparing against are actually useful or valid for what you want to know. Yet comparing multivariate things against each other and going, yep, that entire language is faster than this one, is misguided at best and idiotic at worst. So please treat benchmarks such as these as mostly pseudoscience and not science. Just because it has loads of numbers and measurements does not make it scientific. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope this little rant helped out anyway. So stay tuned for the next video whenever that comes out. So goodbye.